I think the uh, the work what um, Rob and Reddy do in secondary schools at the moment is absolutely essential. The enterprise curriculum within science and other subjects has definitely helped our students. Enterprise is also really useful in that it's very motivating for students. One of the major things I think is creating challenge in the classroom, challenges that, that students are interested in responding to. Students need to learn at a young age about enterprise skills simply because they are going to be leaving school, going into the world of work and they need to be prepared for that as much as possible. When I leave school, I want to present. I want to present on the TV. Maybe going to the police force. Architect, interior designer. Either a doctor or like a surgeon. I want to be a sports scientist. Uh, be a pilot. I'd like to be a scientist. I want to be a solicitor. I want to be an entrepreneur. Well, I want to be a hairdresser or a beautician. I want to design the posters and flyers at the end out outside the club. Getting the founding there straight away for anything is really important for everything people do. If you start people thinking in the right lines at an early age, you're getting that grounding there and it gives them a better understanding of things that are happening all around them. The most exciting thing we've done in Enterprise is a probably a fashion show because we were doing it in English and it were really, we really enjoyed it. The best activity I think would be out and tell us because we got to have go on fun rides but we got to have um, we get to have a lesson in it as well. <laughs> <laughs> The actual area of Thryborough is uh, economically quite poor, there's a, a lot of high unemployment, so we're, we're very much focusing on the idea of you know, what is it employers are looking for to make sure that our young people are marketable when they leave here at 16. I think what we're doing for our students is we're opening their eyes. We are showing them that everything is possible. The positive effects that we've seen on students is they've grown in confidence but being very creative and thinking outside the box. To give them those opportunities and see that they can succeed um, just gives them that encouragement, enthusiasm just to sort of try different things. We're testing out a new style of recording his work. It's called an e-portfolio. Testing out what we think of it and with showing us feedback to Sir. Sir has invented it. For my students, I want them to leave school and go into the workplace and tell people what to do. I don't want them to be in a position where they're going to be told what to do. My favourite subjects are PE, Spanish and Maths. I enjoy PE and Art and Maths. You get to uh, work in a team and solve problems. It's fun and it makes you think you have to make sure your brain's switched on. Teaching Maths I think is great because it's just um, a series of puzzles. I also enjoy um, seeing students who perhaps think they can't do things and things are impossible, actually seeing the light. At the moment we're doing an activity about spaceships and they've landed in a town. Can you repeat your position, Commander Parker? I mean, it could have reached me easily, but for every ten steps it was taking, it was taking three steps back. We've got to get a group of school children out of the um, town before the, the um, aliens um, become dangerous. We don't actually realise we're doing maths, but when we like look back at it, we realise that we've been doing lots of work. The personal skills that are being developed are of use in, in any sphere of life, never mind any career. We ask the students to, to empathise with, with people in different parts of the world and say to them, could you go and do the same job? Could you actually set up a business where you don't need any money? What we do is during one of the lessons, we, we convert the classroom into, into a street scene and they all get a chance to set up little stalls and, and to do their various different businesses um, and, and whatever money that they manage to make that lesson, um, it goes into their pocket. We were learning like, how to interact with customers and like, what they'd want to buy and like, if you'd want to negotiate or haggle with them to try and like, to sell, to, like, sell, sell all your stock but still get a reasonable price for it. If you think about it, like, some people have never done it they might not get a taste of what having your own business is like, so they might find that they're really good at it. It allows them to perhaps be a little bit more creative, um, possibly sometimes when they're, when they're thinking about what types of work they would do. It's, uh, it's so important that enterprise is, is taught through uh, curriculum. We don't want to stifle that creativity, it's just about channeling it and harnessing it and nurturing it along in the right way. We're 
gathering uh, sweets and pick and mix bags and as well as ice pops to sell for sports day this week. We are finding out how much the sweets cost and uh, adding them all uh, up and putting them in bags and then on, on the day we're going to um, go around and sell. Well I'm printing out the price list for the sports day things we're selling. Looking at all round school so everybody knows what we're doing. We all work together though. We should make a profit. By letting us do this letting us do it, not telling us what to do. That's how he's letting us, that's how he's teaching us these skills, basically. It's like freedom, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, it's freedom. Mr Johnson, Johnson is a legend. legend! When I went on the original Enterprise uh, training, I straight away, just everything to do with technology, just locks into it. You've got to be a creative thinker. You've got to be self-managing time. You've got to be looking at everything that you're doing and analysing it. You need to be adaptable. You need to be able to find transferable skills within yourself. I think students have to learn to be able to work it out for themselves. They have to be independent learners. They have to be resilient. They have to know how to get over problems. The students collaborated with artists that we paid to come in. It was all their ideas, all their creativity, and we just facilitated them. We really tried to teach them that it's about the idea of just not giving in, to keep trying, share ideas, throw ideas out, try new ideas. I, I think they really do involve it in all their learning. My favourite lesson is science because we get to uh, produce different things like models and stuff one day and then like probably film it the next. In science we learn like to work together and as a team and uh, speak to each other calmly and like, uh, cooperate with each other. What we're going to do today is we're going to use um, some webcams, some plasticine and some new software to create a stop-start animation film about white blood cells and how they destroy bacteria. I, I do think it's very important to deliver an enterprising curriculum in school. Um, the new curriculum as it is has moved away from just delivering straightforward theory and content to delivering skills. An enterprise covers a wide range of those skills to improve their um, enterprise skills, their communication skills, their leadership skills, teamwork, problem solving and by embedding it within those curriculum areas students develop those skills that they can use throughout school and life. It's very much about preparing them for, for life after school. Um, it's, it's about giving them the, the social skills that they're going to need to be successful. I think enterprise can happen um, everywhere within the curriculum actually. Getting the subjects, getting the teacher support, that's ultimately going to help me with my dream.